Hey, how's it going, guys? Uh, Matt, I know it's been a while. It's been over a year, actually. Uh, the longest break I've ever taken from making videos from YouTube. It um, wasn't really planned, but I just uh, wasn't really in the best state of mind to, um, to make videos. It just wasn't really feeling it, and um, just uh, gave me a lot of time to uh, recharge. And, uh, you know, I got something recently that, that I picked up that uh, really sparked my interest into or for making videos again, and uh, that's what I'm gonna show you guys today. Um, in the background, got uh, some Tourniquet playing, their third album, Pathogenic Ocular Dissonance. Probably my favorite um, by Tourniquet, um, if not tied with uh, psychosurgery, but um, yeah, the first three albums you can't really go wrong with. Excellent uh, Christian thrash metal band. Um, this one being like really on the more technical and uh, progressive side, so. Uh, check this album out if you've never heard it before, or Tourniquet in general. Um, so yeah, like I said, I've, I've got something that I've uh, been wanting to unbox. I've had for over a week, maybe even two weeks now, and uh, it's actually been pretty hard not to uh, open it, but I was planning on saving it for uh, making a video. Um, anyways, you guys already probably saw the title, obviously. It's the uh, Creator Under the Guillotine box set. Um, I've been wanting this for a while. I mean, it hasn't been out super long. I think it came out earlier this year, I wanna say. But um, I've been been wanting it since I saw that it was announced. Um, as you can see, it's pretty hefty, good, pretty hefty box set. Still sealed, haven't even opened it. And uh, what this is, is basically their first uh, six albums on vinyl, plus some other stuff in there um, that I'm pretty excited to check out. So. Really cool packaging too, like the uh, the guillotine blade up here, pretty sweet. All right, I got this from uh, from Grooves Inc. or Grooves Land, which uh, they're I think they're based in Germany, but uh, I like ordering from them because their prices are pretty low and um, they do free shipping over like 25 bucks, like worldwide shipping. So I've got this shipped for free, which is pretty cool. All right, so I guess I'll just start from this side. Looks like it's the, yep. All right, so I'm pretty stoked about this, guys. Let me just set this to the side for a second. All right, so we've got uh, Endless Pain, obviously Creator's first album. Pretty cool. Um, and another reason I wanted this box set, because I know they had the, the reissues of these albums um, that came out like a couple years ago, like the noise reissues. Um, but they kind of altered the artwork and stuff and because they're remastered and whatnot. These are supposed to be a little more true to the original, and I like how they kept the artwork intact. Um, although I do have the Pleasure, Pleasure to Kill uh, version of the uh, remasters, which is which sounds pretty sweet. Uh, inner sleeve. I, I think they all have this on, on one side of the inner sleeve, just like uh, other stuff on noise. But anyways, picture of the band in their early days. This one comes on a really cool, like a purplish and uh, yellow swirl. Or as I like to call it, boysenberry lemonade. But if you guys, if you guys already know Endless Pain. It's this creator in their, uh, in their youth, you know, a little bit on the sloppy side, but um, you know, the uh, passion and the energy is there, so it's where a creator got their start. And I love the album cover on this one. Bear with me, I didn't really plan on uh, where I was going to set all this stuff. I've got limited space here, but... Alright, next up... Pleasure to Kill, of course, the second album and uh, what many would argue to call Creator's Finest Hour, which um, I'm not gonna argue that, but it's not my not my favorite Creator album, but it's a great one nevertheless. Um, I can't deny its influence on uh, you know extreme metal and death metal and, and all that. But uh, yeah, great album. This is like 
where a creator, you know, was finally hitting their, um, I don't want to say their peak in musicianship, but they became a lot better musicians on this album than, uh, than Endless Pain. So yeah, Click and Kill. Great album, though. I'm not, I'm not knocking this one in any way. I just think it's like a bit overhyped sometimes. Just my opinion, guys. Stuck to the sleeve here, but anyways. Comes on a uh, red and black splatter. Pretty nice. And then, free off, I show the inner sleeve or not, but it's a nice collage there. And then next up we got, of course, the Mighty Terrible Certainty. Now this is where we start approaching the albums that um, I would consider uh, my top favorite creator albums. Uh, this one being uh, included in, the, in that set. But um, yeah, awesome album, Terrible Certainty. Love the artwork on this one too. All of the like, creator's early art is, is just awesome. Uh, this one's a little more plain, it's just got the lyrics on the inner sleeve, and again, the uh, other noise releases on the other side. So yeah, these are pretty bare bones, they don't have any other inserts or anything besides the inner sleeve, which I don't really mind. I just wanted to get all these albums. So this one, it's come out, comes on a clear with a red splatter, looks pretty cool. I like the noise, uh, sorry that's upside down, but the noise labels in the, uh, in the center there. Next up, we've got my favorite creator album of all time, which is um, Extreme Aggression. This is just a 10 out of 10 album, um, one of my top five albums for sure of, of uh, thrash metal in general. Um, man, I love this album. Uh, this one again is, is uh, uh, this one's different actually. This one's got lyrics on one side and then it's got a different side than the other uh, inner sleeve. That's interesting. Right, this one, I actually do have uh, this on vinyl already. I've got a, an original copy, which uh, I'm going to be keeping because it sounds awesome and it's my favorite album. So yeah, this one's pretty interesting. It's like a half orange, half black. Pretty cool. All right, I'm sure you guys all know Extreme Aggression, but awesome, love this album. All right, next up we've got Coma of Souls, uh, probably my second favorite creator album. Um, like I said, from Terrible Certainty, Extreme Aggression, and Come Up Souls, these are probably my three, my top three uh, creator albums. I just really like that era of the band. Um, this one, they got a little more melodic, obviously. Um, a lot of people say it's a little more, I don't know, commercial sounding or something, but I don't really, I don't really see this album that way at all. Um, I love Come, Come Up Souls. And um, I'm really happy to get this one on vinyl finally, because I was gonna opt for the, uh, I think it's like a three LP set, but um, I already find two LP sets annoying as it is when you're listening to them, you know, so I'm like, oh great, you know, who wants to flip a record over six times or whatever. But uh, this one comes on grayish silver with uh, red splatter, or I don't know, maybe pinkish magenta, whatever you want to call it. Pretty cool. All right, 
Uh, and then uh, the next album that comes with, and the last one, is Renewal. And uh, this is uh, where Creator really shifted the in style and uh, changed things up a bit. Um, I'm not really, really familiar with this album, and from what I've heard, um, it wasn't really my thing, but I'm gonna give this album a shot, you know, and I'm gonna you know, give it a good listen and with an open mind and see if I start if it starts to grow on me. You know, maybe it's just because, you know, going from Como Souls to this is just such a drastic change. But, um, you know, I kind of want to hear what you guys think about this album just to see, you know, what the, uh, what the popular opinion about it is among, like, creator fans. But, um, yeah, I'm going to give it a chance. And even if I don't like it, I'm still going to keep it in the set to keep the, the set complete. Um, I, bought, I bought the uh, Sepultura box set some years back in the... Uh, made the mistake of selling a couple off on that one. I'm um, not a really a big fan of Roots and still don't care for Roots, so that's why I sold, sold that album off on that box set, but um, probably would have been cool to keep the set complete. Alright, um, next, we've got a little box here that comes inside the box. It's a secret box with a secret string, which when you pull it, few things stashed inside here, which is pretty cool. I didn't really look at too much of what came in the box set besides the album, so this is kind of new to me too. I wanted to keep it somewhat of a surprise. Um, so it comes with a CD here, it says uh, Some Pain Will Last, and what's in it is actually, it's not a, it's a DVD, sorry, it's not a CD. Uh, it's got a mini documentary, and then it's got a live concert from, uh, or live clips from three concerts actually. Sweden, Germany, and Berlin in the late 80s, early 90s, so that's pretty cool. And then, I, ooh, there's actually, looks like maybe another CD under it. Or maybe not, it's just like a spacer. All right, and then we've got, this is pretty cool. Sure, most of you creator fans know that they used to be go by Tormentor before they changed their name to Creator. But uh, this is one of their demos. If not, I don't know if it's their first demo or which demo it is. But obviously, it's one of their first. They're still called Tormentor. Um, it's called End of the World with some uh, elementary school style dra drawings on the front. But uh, that's pretty cool, actually. It comes with like an old school looking cassette to keep it kind of original looking. So pretty cool little keepsake to, to have that they threw in there for sure. All right, and the next, uh, the last thing in this little box is a little uh, creator action figure of the uh, creator demon. i kind of embarrassed to say, I don't know if this guy has a name or not, but um, anyways, little action figure. Pretty cool, so yeah. All right, and then the last thing it looks like that it comes with is, yep, that's the last thing, is this pretty sweet book here. It's a hardcover book. It says Bringer of Torture. Um, I knew it came with a book. I'm just not exactly sure what the book consists of, so we're both about to find out. Um, so it looks like it's got some, uh, some lyrics from songs and some stories on songs and how how they wrote them and whatnot. Like for example, this one he's talking about um, the song "Endless Pain" and what it's about. And there's Creator in the early days, Venter rocking the uh, DRI shirt. Awesome. So yeah, looks like uh, that's pretty much what the book's gonna be about. This one's got uh, "Pleasure to Kill," a little story about it, and some more band photos. So yeah, this is awesome. This is a really cool box set. Um, but the, the fact that they put it together this way just really makes it worth it in my opinion. I think it was like, I'm trying to remember what I paid for it, around 140 bucks I want to say, and free shipping, so not bad at all. Uh, yeah, once again, this is the outside of the box. Let me go, th go ahead and throw these albums back in there real quick. Do it afterwards, guys. And the guillotine. 
Pretty sweet for sure. So yeah, if you've been contemplating getting this box, um, pick it up because I already noticed that it's starting to disappear from the, uh, you know, the normal market, and it's already going up on the secondary for some, you know, ridi ridiculous prices. I'm sure they'll uh, increase uh, further. But um, anyways, guys, um, don't want to drag this video on too long. I'm sure you guys already are somewhat familiar with uh, this box set, but I'm um, really stoked, and I'm probably going to start spinning this album after I finish this. Uh, tourniquet album off right now. So until next time guys, uh, cheers and uh, see you soon.